Well, good morning. Praise the name of the Lord. What a great joy to know that the Lord is my strength. The Bible says in his presence there is fullness of joy and the joy of the Lord is my strength. And if the joy of the Lord is my strength, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Glory be to God. This morning, you and I are in the presence of the Lord and he is strengthening us to do everything we ought to do. I'd like to encourage you today from the book of John chapter number 15. John chapter number 15. I want to give you a guarantee of getting the desires of your heart. John 15, 7 says this. Verse 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. So here we are being given some conditions. And the condition is, if you abide in me, to abide simply means to dwell, to take refuge. We are already in Christ as a result of accepting him as our savior. So if we continue to stay in him, if you're not born again, this is your opportunity to accept Jesus as your savior. It is very simple. You don't need to scratch your head and figure it out how you're going to do this. All you simply say is, Jesus, I want you to be my savior. Thank you for paying the penalty of sin that I, do no longer, that I no longer need to be a sinner. And I accept you as my savior. I belong to you and you belong to me. As simple as that, you've accepted Jesus as your savior. Now that you are in Christ, if you want to receive the benefits of being in Christ, now you need to do the next thing because that is the first way. The entry point is you abiding in him. The second thing is and... You, my words abide in you. So you see, and is in addition to if. If you abide in me, and addition to you abiding in me, my words abiding in you, then you can ask what you desire, and it shall be done unto you. So many times we have mistaken this verse for it to be a principle and not a relationship. What this verse is talking about here is talking about a relationship, not a principle. A principle is simply, I did this, I did that, that's it. No, this is a relationship. A relationship is a continuous, ongoing lifestyle. So you will always be with him, in him, if you've accepted him. Now the question is, will you allow his word to dwell in you? For his word to dwell in you, it means you are dedicated you are disciplined, you are faithful, and you are committed. That word consistently comes to you. Now you are a good recipient of asking whatever you desire and it will be done unto you. When you don't do that, you will ask so many things, but you'll never see them come to fruition. You know why? Because his word is not abiding in you. His word is not taking refuge in you. His word is not taking residence in you. Yes, you have taken residence in him, but his word is not taking residence in you. So I'd like to encourage you today. Allow the word of God to take residence in you. In other words, let the word of God be the first authority in your life. Everything you do. I mean everything from eating, walking, driving, purchasing, going. Let the word of God be the umpire. Let it be the one that decides whatever you're doing. Because in so doing, you are in constant relationship with your father. And he says when this relationship is going on, then the desires of your heart comes as a result of his word abiding in you. And anything you ask will be done unto you. I know we want so many things, but if we have a revelation of his word abiding in us, we will always get what the word will give to us. So I'd like to encourage you today, keep on abiding in him and allow his word to abide in you. Then go ahead and ask the desires of your heart and you'll be given them to you. So you stay blessed and have a wonderful day.